In the upcoming version of macOS, macOS Catalina, Apple added a feature called Sidecar, which allows an iPad running iPadOS to serve as a secondary display for the Mac. So in this video, we're gonna check out Sidecar and give you a look at how it works. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. To use Sidecar, you need to be running iPadOS on your iPad and macOS Catalina on a compatible Mac. And then all you have to do is go to the menu bar, select the AirPlay icon, and then select the iPad that you want to connect to. Once connected, the AirPlay icon will turn blue, and then if you head back to that menu, you'll see a couple of options to turn on or off the sidebar and touch bar that are on your iPad. You'll see touch bar controls even if you're using a Mac without a touch bar. The sidebar gives you a few tools like command, option, and shift keys, for example, and then you have access to your touch bar controls just like you would on your MacBook. Personally, I like the extra screen real estate, and so I opted to turn these options off. There's also a settings menu for Sidecar under system preferences, which includes the same two options that I just mentioned, plus an option to position each bar on the screen, as well as a few Apple Pencil settings. So yes, the first interesting thing about extending and using your iPad as a secondary MacBook display is the ability to use your Apple Pencil. You can use the Apple Pencil as a pseudo mouse, although this isn't really the most fluid experience, but if you aren't near your Mac's mouse or trackpad and you need to select something on the screen, this is your only option. There isn't any support for touch gestures with Sidecar, but some apps do offer the ability to use two fingers for scrolling purposes. Writing or drawing with the pencil in apps like Photoshop is actually surprisingly good. There's little latency and it can really be a nice Wacom tablet replacement when you're on the go or you're in a quick pinch. As far as normal usage goes, Sidecar truly makes your iPad a useful and functional secondary display, or you can mirror displays if you want. You can easily drag and drop applications or windows from one display to the other, all of it being pretty seamless. For the most part, it feels like I'm using a second monitor and not an AirPlay connection to my iPad. There's even a built-in shortcut on the Mac where if you hover over the green full screen button in an app, you'll see the option to move the window directly to your iPad. I've been loving the ability to throw my timeline or windows from Photoshop on my iPad in order to sort of free up some more space on my Mac for other windows or applications. And for the most part, Sidecar has been a pretty solid experience. There have been a few minor issues with the wireless connection, and I do attribute most of that to just being general beta bugs, but Apple does offer the ability to connect your iPad via a wired connection. So for my iPad Pro, I could just go ahead and use a USB-C cable, and a wired connection gives me a more stable connection since it doesn't depend on wireless strength. So that's something to keep in mind. Overall, I like the convenience of having a secondary display with me at all times that I can activate with just a few clicks. You can also use your iPad for normal iPad things and then go ahead and jump right back into Sidecar by tapping on the Sidecar icon in your dock. It's a great feature and I honestly can't wait to see how developers and Apple in general will utilize Sidecar in the future. So let us know your thoughts on Sidecar. If you've been using the betas, let me know what you think about this in the comments section down below. This has been Dan with MacRumors. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.